BBC News at one is next and stay with us at two for Afternoon Live with all the top stories, weather, business and sport. A man is arrested on suspicion of terrorism offences after a car crashes outside the Houses of Parliament, injuring several people. The suspect is in his late 20s. Police say he had no weapons and there was no one else in the car with him. The Ford Fiesta car hits cyclists and pedestrians before crashing into a security barrier protecting the Palace of Westminster. Given that this appears to be a deliberate act, the method, and this being an iconic site, we are treating it as a terrorist incident. I'll be reporting live from the scene. Police say they are questioning the terror suspect at a police station in South London. So far, though, he is refusing to answer their questions about who he is and what were his motives. Also on the programme this lunchtime, a motorway bridge has partially collapsed in the Italian city of Genoa with dozens feared dead. The government says it fears an immense tragedy. England cricketer Ben Stokes is found not guilty of a fray at Bristol Crown Court. Social housing tenants are promised more powers by ministers. Campaigners say what's needed is more housing. More retail misery. The DIY chain home base is to close 42 stores, putting 1,500 jobs at risk. Coming up on BBC News, defeat for Andy Murray in the opening round of the Cincinnati Open as he targets improvements on his road to uh, recovery. Good afternoon and welcome to BBC News at One. A man's being held on suspicion of terror offences after a car collided with cyclists in Westminster. The vehicle ploughed into a security barrier near Old Palace Yard in front of the Houses of Parliament. Several people were taken to hospital and the area is still cordoned off. The man in custody is in his late 20s and police said he's not cooperating with them. Theresa May has praised the rapid response of the emergency services and said her thoughts were with the people who'd been hurt. The government's emergency COBRA committee is to meet this afternoon. Well, Ben Brown is in Westminster for us now. Ben. Yeah, Rita, we're at the police cordon. It happened just down the road here. Now, this whole area of Westminster is still in lockdown. All the roads around the Palace of Westminster and Parliament Square still sealed off to uh, traffic and to pedestrians. Of the people who were injured, only one is still in hospital, we're being told, uh, and that person doesn't have serious injuries. So there is an overwhelming feeling of relief this lunchtime that what appears to have been another terror attack... The time is 20 past one, our top story this lunchtime. A man is arrested on suspicion of terrorism offences after a car crashes outside the Houses of Parliament, injuring several people. A motorway bridge has partially collapsed in the Italian city of Genoa with dozens feared dead. The government says it fears an immense tragedy. Coming up on BBC News, Celtic must score if they're to keep their Champions League hopes alive in tonight's third qualifying round, second leg against Aig Athens in Greece. Jack Whitehall's casting in a new Disney film has sparked an outcry following reports that he'll play a character who's gay. The comedian wrote that he was honoured to be part of Jungle Cruise, which is due out next year, and it was later reported that he'd be playing a gay man. The news has led some people to ask why a gay actor wasn't cast for the role. Lisa Mazimba has more. 
probably having a dry day. Some sunshine, the best of that in the southeast, and here temperatures lifting just a little bit again, up as high as 23 or 24 Celsius. Rita. Thank you, Darren. A reminder now of our main story this lunchtime. A man from the Birmingham area is arrested on suspicion of terrorism offences after a car crashes outside the Houses of Parliament, injuring several people. Well, that's all from BBC News at One. So it's goodbye from me. And on BBC One, we now join the BBC's news teams where you are. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, I'm John Watson with the latest sports here on BBC News. Andy Murray's comeback from injury suffered another setback last night. He lost